Hi guys, welcome back to the channel Spare Parts, and today we'll be looking at my complete LEGO Star Wars Droid Army, or Separatist Army, depends on which way you want to look at it. This is a sequel to my LEGO Clone Army video, which I released about a week ago. But anyway, in this video we'll be looking at all my builds that relate to the Droid Army, or the Separatists, and all the minifigures. So let's get into this. First up, we gotta get some minifigures. Time to raid the minifigure supply again. <laughs> I also found some super battle droids lying around. I'll add them to the army as well. Now I'm laying out all the droids on a base plate. I have General Grievous in the front and the normal ones off to the side. Then I have the special droids and the super battle droids in the back. So I just finished putting out all the droids on a base plate like this. And now it's time to build some sets for this army. First up, I'm building the Hailfire droid, which is a pretty cool set. I think it came out in 2015. And it came with a clone lieutenant, which is probably one of the big reasons people bought this set. I still do think the build is great, though. All of that clone lieutenant was really cool. If you want to see more of him, you should watch my review video of the Hailfire droid. But now I'm finishing that up. And next, I will be starting General Grievous's wheel bike, which is a really cool set as well. I really like the design of this one. And this is one of those rare sets where I feel like the build is probably one of the better parts about the set. Although the General Grievous minifigure is really good. I feel like this is just a great Star Wars build. It also does come with some great minifigures, don't get me wrong, but I just love the build on this. It's probably one of my favorite Star Wars builds. Now I'm building the homing spider droid microfire, and this is the last build. So now the droid army is complete. So here is the complete LEGO Star Wars droid or separatist army. As you can see, I have a bunch of droids out here, including General Grievous. But first off, let's take a look at the builds around the minifigures. Over here, I have the Battle of Salukami set kind of side build thing with a bunker and some plants. This isn't really a vehicle, but I wanted something to balance out both of the sides, so I included this. And then back here, I have the Hailfire Droid, which is a really sick build. I really like the design on this, especially those prints on the wheels. Those are really nice. And then back here, I have General Grievous's Wheel Bike, which is another really cool set. And I really like all the details they included, and I feel like this is a much better, probably the best version LEGO has ever done. And then next to that, I had the Octopatara droid from the Battle of Christasis, or the Clone Trist Droids Battle Pack. It's a pretty small build, but I still think it's really accurate and a nice inclusion. And next to that, I have the Homing Spider Droid. This was included in the Homing Spider Droid Microfighter, or really it was the main build in that set. Came with that Geonosin Battle Droid over there, which we'll take a look at later. This is a pretty cool Microfighter. Taking a look at the droids or the minifigures, not really sure if droids are considered as minifigures as they are made out of different parts, but I consider them to be minifigures. In the front here, I have General Grievous, and I gave him some blasters instead of lightsabers. I don't really know why, I just thought it fit with the rest of the battle droids pretty nicely. And then on either side of them, I have five different battle droids. They're not really different, but some of them are like the newer version from the Clones vs. Droids Battle Pack. Uh, the only difference I really noticed with those droids and the older ones is that some of them seem to be lighter. That might just be because the sun faded the older ones, I don't know. It just seems like the newer ones are a bit different. And then behind General Grievous, we have some Super Battle Droids, six. There's six of them, three on each side. The ones over here are the newer versions from the Clones vs. Droids Battle Pack. These I much prefer. And these, which are the older versions, you can see that they are not as refined. But I still do like them. And then next to them, I have a Geonosian Battle Droid, which is a really nice and unique minifigure. It came with this Microfighter over here. And I'm really glad I have him. I think it's really cool Lego made some unique figures for like a microfighter. I mean, they usually do that, but not usually with droids. And then over here, I have a commando droid, which came with the ATRT, I think. This was a 501st set, and he looks really good. He has a nice red dot on his torso. And then behind that, I have a droidica or destroyer droid. This is from the ATRT as well, and a lot of mixed opinions about this guy here from many other people I've heard, but I still think he looks really cool. I really like how you can kind of move the fin in the back. It doesn't really do much for like he's supposed to roll up, but you can actually move it. If I can, yeah, you can do that. Doesn't like, it's not really something they do in the show, I don't think, but it's nice that it has some sort of play feature. And next to that, I have two different staff builds. This is the newer one from the Clones vs. Droids Battle Pack. And this is the older one. And actually, if you look at them both, I actually kind of prefer the older one just because of that nice sticker. I mean, it is a sticker, stickers are not the best, but they added some extra detail to it. And although I do like the newer one because I feel like the color looks a lot better and it comes with better stand, but if this newer one had had that sticker on this one, I feel like the newer one would have been much better, but they're a nice inclusion to the army as well. 
And that is the complete LEGO Star Wars droid army. So there you have it guys, that was my complete LEGO Star Wars droid or separatist army. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my LEGO clone army video. I'll have a card pop up so you can check out that. And I'll see you in the next one.